You may have heard of these before. Let me know in the comments below if you have, but I haven't heard of these before. I've heard of sticky tape to catch flies, those long yellow things that you hang down. They're supposed to track flies, and then the black flies are kind of hanging on the yellow sticky tape, but they're not crawling all over you and your food, so that's good. These seem to be little attractive butterflies in a pot that you can stick into plants that are both indoors or outdoors. And they're supposed to track a wide variety of pests. Do they work? Let's find out. Check in the text below and also in the comments. I'll provide a link on how you can purchase this product or one similar. It helps me out a little bit if you use that link when you do your shopping. Thanks a bunch. Is, I don't know how to say that. Me tapped 48 pack suitable for indoor or outdoor. Oh, look how cute that is. It's non toxic, friendly to people and pets. UV resistant means it's not going to fade out in the sunlight. No odor and water resistant. It tells you what kind of bugs it takes care of fruit fly, white fly, fungus, gnat, mosquito, and bugs. It's made in China. I think those are all the details. Oh, here we have more. Same thing, same information. 48 in a pack. Oh, cute. Have a little shovel. Well, these are just cute. So it says it's non toxic, so I'm thinking it's going to be okay for me to. Open these up and handle them with my bare hands. If I pass away, you can say that you were one of the last people that saw me. Just kidding. I think it's going to happen to me. So they come rubber banded together. And have some that are flowers and some that are little birds. So I'm assuming, let's see, we don't have any directions in there. There's some little wire things, I'm not sure what those are. There's some butterflies and some little flowers. So you get four different designs. Let's check those out. Might as well, right? So there's four designs. You have a little bird, you have a little flower, butterfly, and a different kind of uh, flower. So I guess this is the part that sticks into the plant, and your little shovel can help dig a place for that. And then you peel this part off, and there's your sticky. I actually hit two of them. And there's your sticky to catch the bugs. Let's see how this works. These are two plants. I don't really think I have a lot of pest problems with these, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put these in here anyway. I'm going to peel the sticky off. Peel the sticky off. I bet I should have poked them in the dirt first, shouldn't I? I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to stick that one there. We'll see what happens. So this one over here. It really wasn't hard to stick it in the dirt with the paper peeled off. So I'll try that again. Stuck to my finger. They go in very easily because these little ledges right here push them in. And we'll see if we have any bugs on those. We'll check back. But they're kind of cute. And I guess because it has a little hole there like that, that you can hang some. Oh, that's what the little wires are for, I bet. So I'm going to hang some um, outside as well. 
I don't like birds. I have birds that if you watch my other videos. Oh, these are long. If you watch my other videos, I have birds that made a mess on my carport and made a mess on my porch. I've gone to extreme measures to try to get rid of them. So I'm going to hang these little birdies outside. See if they scare off my pest birds. I think they will. And as crazy as it may sound, I found out that little spiders or whatnot can build webs around your blink camera and disable it. It gave me a notice that my camera was disabled and all I did was come out here and I saw that it had a spider web around it. So my app was telling me to take the batteries out and do all this hoo-ha mess, which is a pain. So I'm thinking this, maybe we'll catch some spiders that want to build a web around my camera. Same thing for that camera. Which one do you think will win? The little bird pest controls or the spiders? In my sad lavender plant that could use some water. Actually, you got a lot of water this past weekend. It rained a lot. This one just hasn't done very well. That, that needs to go in the middle, closer to the edge. Not so close to the edge. Oh, I just tore my little shovel apart. in there. Let's just put a rock over here beside you. How about that? Put the rocks in here because I had birds building nests in my plants and I read that if you put stones in there they think that it's a bird already building a nest in there. This is my healthier um, lavender plant but I need Parker to come over here and harvest it for me. Parker comes over here and trims off the, la the lavender and then she takes a very long, very elegant bath with lavender floating around in her while she plays with measuring cups and whatnot. Oh, let's get you out of the way. It's much easier to poke down this one. I think this plant got more water this weekend. All right, so on to the roses. The rose plant is the uh, one that I seem to have the most trouble with having pests and whatnot. So I think I may try to put two in here. Use the pretty butterflies for the roses. Ow, thorn. Okay, it's in. Don't look bad. Kind of cute. My brother brought me two basil plants and little starters, and I'm gonna let them get a little bit bigger before I transplant them. So I don't want bugs on them. So I'm gonna put the butterflies in here. Hopefully, can keep them pest free while they're growing. And then I'll transplant the basil. Smells so good. I, um, well, yeah, let me take it out. I saute some basil and some margarine. They brought me a big stalk, and oh, the house smells so good. Smells so, so, so good. All right. All right, all right, all right. That's pretty, isn't it? And this might be kind of crazy, but the 
two plants I showed you earlier. These plants are my, my maternal grandmother's house, and I've just kept them alive for, gosh, decades now. I just keep cutting off and making new little plants and all. They're very precious to me to always have some of these going. I've got this one sitting outside so that I can enjoy it when I'm out on my front porch. And then when I get some root systems, I'll put it in a pot. But don't want pests to get on it. While well, it is taking root in this warm weather. So we will put a little sticky trap. See if it will get the bugs on there. Instead of on my cutting. We'll see. Check back in about two weeks and we'll see how these sticky traps have worked. I also put some of these plants uh, back on the deck. Just one in that one. One in that one. And I hung some on my gardenia plant because I had some kind of white gnats or something get on them. Like really, really bad when it started blooming this year. And I just had two blooms. So I thought I would put some on there to see if it helps. We'll see. So I already trapped a bug and a bug. Something really small there. Thanks for watching my video about the sticky traps for indoor and outdoor pests. Remember to check in the text below for a link on how you can buy these, this particular brand. And it helps me out a little bit if you if you do that. Uh, leave a comment below if you have time. Go watch another video. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel or playlist that suits your needs. And until next time, let's just help each other solve problems and try not to be a problem. Try not to be a pest because, oh! I've had some people be past today's, not kids, but grown-ups. Mm. Bye.